Um, so, okay, I got all those cards, right? At the bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a soul, like it's a relationship. That's what the Two of Cups is. Look at these two hands, okay? It's a, um, it's a soul contract, okay? Like the soul contract is something that you agree to um, before you even come here, okay? When we're quote unquote dead, right? We're not ever really dead, okay? Our physical bodies, our physical bodies are dead, but our soul is never dead, okay? When we die, okay, hold on. When we die, the way how, okay, let me explain something really quick, because I did see something the other day or whatever uh, that I'm like, I should kind of explain it, I guess, or, or how I see it and how I've seen things. When we die, we go. To me, it's like there's like an in-between place, okay? Before you actually really like cross over. And I don't know what happens when you ascend or cross over. But when your physical body dies, from what I've experienced and what I've seen and how I've worked with people who are, I don't want to say they're stuck. You have a choice when you pass away, when your physical body passes away okay your soul never dies you never die okay <laughs> like as crazy as that sounds when you where you go it's it's like it's it's like here it's like the it's like the way I have been shown and what I have seen and what I've experienced since I was a child you go to a like an in-between place and it's like earth okay but there's no time you can do things just like you do here but there's no there's no there's no feeling of being tied down like you don't need to sleep you don't need to eat it's you know you can just do okay and create it's it's super super hard to explain but anyways when you're over there okay you meet people you do things just like you do here on earth okay and you can agree to a cups right if you believe in this type of thing, reincarnation, coming back, okay? I do. I've come back hundreds and hundreds of times, okay? God, you think I'd learn my fucking lesson? No. <laughs> um, two of Cups, okay? And this card, to me, is very similar to the Lover's card in Tarot. There's Major Arcana cards in Tarot and then the Tarot, you know, you know, I forget what you call them. The Knot. <laughs> Anyways, I can't think right now. Um, but the two of cups and the lovers to me is very similar. Uh, the lovers is like one step up for me. Um, but this is, you know, like you agreed to before you even came back onto this earth to be with this person. Okay. Ah, that's so funny behind it. The four of wands, the four of wands can signify marriage. Okay. So those were at the bottom of the deck of this reading. Anyways. So, the first card that came out, the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, look at this person, see how their, their bags are packed? See this long hill, right? They came down. They've been traveling for a long time to get down this giant hill, right? They have all their stuff is packed. Um, the Ten of Wands is an end to a heavy burden. Um, however, that applies to whoever watches this in your life. You're, you're done with something, okay? You're done. You're moving on. You finally come down this heavy burden, whatever that is to you in your life. And that was clarified by the six, whoops, sorry, the six of swords. So the six of swords is it can is a uh can talk about um an opportunity to heal. Um like look at she look at this person, they're in a boat, right? All this they're in this choppy water, right? Look at these strings attached to all these. This could be people, addictions. Um, and this person's just staring, like, you know, look at that. But to clarify, an end to a heavy burden, an opportunity to heal from this. You're not going to be stuck, attached to this crap anymore, okay? You have an opportunity to get out of this boat that you're freaking floating in, in like this crazy water, right? So, the next card, the Five of Pentacles. This card can indicate to... Um, I, I was picking up health 
okay? Health issues, because this talk, this can um, talk about health issues. Health issues, just different things holding you back. But look at, there's a light back here. See this, right? There's a key and there's a lock right there. This person, they look very sad. They look sick, right? They're all scuffed up. You know, they're not paying attention, right? Like, hello, the key is here for, to the door. Get up. Stop whining. This is what I'm getting, okay? This doesn't literally... When I read tarot, um, a lot of times the, the energy that I'm trying to explain that I'm picking up comes... I, I look at the pictures, too. I don't just necessarily focus on um, the actual meaning itself, okay? But that's what I'm getting. This person is, is tired. They feel defeated. No, it's right here. You're, almost, you, you're there, you've gotten through the 10 of wands, you have your burdens, right? And pentacles can represent money. If you just unlock this, right? Whatever that means in your life, however you want to apply it, you know, there's good stuff back there. So come on, you know? But, so I, okay, to clarify that, now don't take this literally, okay? <laughs> the death card, okay? But I love this deck because it's death and rebirth. So feeling stuck, health issues, whatever, whatever your problem is, right? You're coming out of it, right? Because I just picked, I just said that with the 10 of wands and the six of swords. It's like you're transforming yourself. You're literally saying goodbye to this image of yourself and rebirthing yourself, right? Okay. So then the next card, the knight of swords and now this okay so how i at the bottom of the deck the two of cups so this guy right look at this guy he's running for his motorcycle the uh the knight of swords is very fast movement forward um decisive you know being very knowing what you want and going for it fast look at he's running towards his motorcycle to get on there and go look at this bird up here right like going fast right to clarify it the queen of cups the Queen of Cups is someone very intuitive, sensitive, um, she, very watery, very in touch with her emotions. Okay, there's water here. This cup, there's one cup, okay? I was picking, especially with the Two of Cups at the bottom. So I'm picking up to whoever this resonates for. You're like transforming your life from old behaviors, old shit old relationships you want to go forward and move forward towards this queen of cups towards that two of cups this queen of cups could represent to you a, a soul connection okay i don't know who this person is to you you would know if it if this resonates for you you want to move forward towards this person okay so that and the next card there's two more cards left the hangman so the hangman um is about like new opportunities new you're seeing things from a new a higher perspective perspective okay i hate that word i hate the way i say it sorry <laughs> it's just weird i'm just weird okay um like you're having you had a new perspective on everything in your life right you're reevaluating everything like maybe thinking back on previous relationships previous behaviors like wow did I really do that was that really what I thought what uh, what I wanted this you know you're, you're really evaluating stuff and really kind of having a clarity moment um and 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 figuring out what you want on and and who you want in your life right because obviously two of cups hold on my clock went off okay um, I have an Isle of Lucy clock back there and it says quotes from the show like every hour. Um, anyways, so, and then the last card, the wheel cycle complete. Okay. So whoever this resonates for, um, yeah, you're, it, it's a done deal, right? Cycle complete. You know what you want, um, out of like, cause I, I keep getting drawn back to this. Five of Pentacles, this may be depressed. Uh, I mean, I can relate to this a little bit. Um, like, cycle, like, 
you're you're just you're done with old behaviors, old habits, um, old people. Um, maybe you're realizing that some people you thought were good in your life are not. They're toxic um, because of this too. Having attachments to people that are not good for you. Okay, sometimes, and I can relate to that. Sometimes, you know, we think because we felt this euphoric feeling with this person. We confuse their abuse, you know, we ignore it, we ignore their abuse, uh, and we just think about, oh, well, they made me feel this way. Well, great, that's good, because, you know, I can relate to that. Um, but if, like, say, if, for example, I'm just getting this this idea in my head. Say, for example, you, you create something, right? I don't know, music, art, whatever you want, right? And, you know, or no, how do I want to word this? Let's say, okay, you watching this, if you can relate to this, and you have had shitty relationships in the past, because this is like, you know, I can relate to this. Um, let's say the person you're with, like you just think they're so wonderful, they're, you're, they're so great, you're so in love with them, right? And you, you just like, you can't, you know, you think they're the end all be all, right? And this person happens to be, um, I don't know, like a creative person, whatever. And you compliment them, right? You go and, and, and say, you know, oh, wow, I really like this or that, you know. And then they look at you and they're like, <laughs> like, act like, ew, what? Real, what? <sighs> okay. Like, that is a form of abuse, okay? If you're trying to compliment someone on something that they've done um, and and they look at you or they act like, why are you saying that? Like, that's what I'm getting. Okay, I'm just getting this scenario. I don't know who this is for, but that's what I'm picking up. Like, you know, say say this person is very self-absorbed. Like, you know, just into themselves, right? Maybe they, maybe, yes, they may be a creative person or a look like a wonderful person. And, and appearance-wise, right? They could be real the prettiest person in the world to you, right? The most attractive. But that doesn't make them a nice person, okay? Like, don't get confused with people's appearances because that's how um, narcissistic evil energies trick you. I'm so good looking. And they can be very charming, okay? But it's the little things that you need to pay attention to in people, okay? If, if you're complimenting someone, and I keep getting this scenario in my head, I'm picking it up. If you're complimenting someone, they're an artist, they're, pr they're beautiful, right? And you're, you're, you're like, wow, you know, and, and, and you compliment them, right? And you're, you know, you're just so fascinated by them. And then they're just like, okay, <laughs> that's, that's rude, okay? That's fucked up. Like, take a, you know, if someone came at me and said, oh my gosh, like, I love your how can you read tarot or do this or that, you know, like, that's so cool. I'd be like, oh, well, thank you very much. Like that means, that would mean the world to me. Okay. Because no, you know, I haven't had a lot of compliments in my life. I've been called weird and crazy, but you know, I would never, you know, now if you call me pretty, I'd probably call you crazy, <laughs> but not, you know, not in a bad way. Okay. Um, I would say probably say that first and then say thank you but yeah it's like you know a lot of times we hold on to people and I've dated someone like this um, we hold on to people that are not good people and they're narcissistic and they're abusive mentally it doesn't matter mentally physically verbally um, because we're holding on to one a couple good moments and that's what I do. That's part of my problem. Okay, I hold on to um, that, like, a couple of good moments where I thought, you know, oh, we connected and they looked at me. No, okay, there's more to that than, there's more to a relationship and more to a person than, you know, being caught up in the moment, okay? You know, yes, you can have, you sleep with someone and think that, oh my God, that's it. No, 
It's not it. <laughs> okay, so I don't know why I feel the need to say this. Really, probably because I've done a lot of inner work. I've been single now for over four years, okay? And I realize now, you know, what I want and what I don't want in a relationship. And so for whoever this resonates for, I hope it does to someone out there, um, you know, pay attention to the little things like that. You know, don't pay, don't focus so much on someone's outer appearance because that can trick people into being pulled back into someone's asshole abusive behavior, okay? So, like, stay strong, okay? Um, now, obviously, this Queen of Cups and this Two of Cups, this is out there for whoever this resonates for, okay? So, yeah, I think that's long enough. So, hope you enjoyed that. Bye.